Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Steer up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Some men rushed into the upper chamber of Daniel's home and found him praying and pleading before his God. Then they went to remind the king about the prohibition. Did you not decree, O king, that no one is to address a petition to God or man? for 30 days, 
except to you, O king. Otherwise, he shall be cast into a den of lions. The king answered them, The decree is absolute, irrevocable, under the Mede and Persian law. To this they replied, Daniel, the Jewish exile, has paid no attention to you, O king, or to the decree you issued. Three times a day he offers his prayer. The king was deeply grieved at this news. He made up his mind to save Daniel. He worked till sunset to rescue him. But this man insisted. They said, Keep in mind, O king, that under the Mede and Persian law, every royal prohibition or decree is irrevocable. So the king ordered Daniel to be brought and cast into the lion's den. To Daniel he said, May your God, whom you serve so constantly, save you. To forestall any tampering, the king sealed with his own ring and the kings of the lords the stone that had been brought to block the opening of the den. Then the king returned to his palace for the night. He refused to eat, and he dismissed the entertainers. Since sleep was impossible for him, the king rose very early the next morning and hastened to the lion's den. As he drew near, he cried out in Daniel's sorrowfully, O Daniel! Servant of the living God, has the God whom you serve so constantly been able to save you from the lions? Daniel answered the king, O king, live forever. May God has sent his angel and closed the lions' mouths so they that have not hurt me. For I have been found innocent before him Neither to you have I done any harm, O king. This gave the king great joy. At his order, Daniel was removed from the den, unhurt because he trusted in his God. The king then ordered the men who had accused Daniel, along with their children and their wives, to be cast into the lion's den. Before they reached the bottom of the den, the lions overpowered them and crossed all their bones. Then King Darius wrote to the nations and peoples of every language, wherever they dwell on the earth, all peace to you. I decree that throughout my royal domain, the God of Daniel, is to be reverenced and feared. For he is the living God, and during forever, his kingdom shall not be destroyed, and his dominion shall be without end. He is a deliverer and savior, working signs and wonders in heaven and on earth, and he delivered Daniel from the lion's power. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. You and reign, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Eyes and snow, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. 
Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, know that its desolation is at hand. Then those in Judea must flee to the mountains. Let those within the city escape from it, and let those in the countryside not enter the city. For these days are the time of punishment, when all the scriptures are fulfilled. Woe to pregnant women and nursing mothers in those days, for a terrible calamity will come upon the earth, and a wrathful judgment upon this people. They will fall by the edge of the sword, and be taken as captives to all the Gentiles. And Jerusalem will be trampled underfoot by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. There will be signs in the sun, in the moon, and the stars. And on earth nations will be in dismay, perplexed by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming into a cloud with power and great glory. But when these signs begin to happen, stand erect and raise your heads because your redemption is at hand. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. We will have a long weekend this weekend. And if we are to choose, perhaps, between going to the beach or partying over attending mass, a lot of us will choose more or less beach and party. If we are to choose between praying the rosary or spending some time with God in private over watching a telenovela, siguro ang pipiliin natin ay ang telenovela. Convenience over practicing our Christian faith. If there is one thing perhaps in our life that has been left underdeveloped, this would be the practice of our faith and the set of personal and gospel values that comes with that faith. So sa totoo lang po, if we are to check a reality, Faith Matters takes a back seat in our list of priority in life. And this is so mainly because our values as Christians, even if we say we are 500 years in Christianity, somehow is still not yet clear, hindi pa nagmature 
hindi pa well-rooted. Coupled with the thinking, perhaps, hindi pa ako mamamatay. Eh. Mahaba pa ang buhay. We will not be dying anytime soon, sabi pa nga ng iba. Kaya, kung mapapansin natin, kung makakalusot tayo sa paggawa ng kasinungalingan, lalamang tayo sa kapwa, sa ngala ng progress, no? sa ngala ng asenso, sa pamamagitan ng pagkamit ng mas malaking kapangyarihan, pera, gagawin natin ito. We feel free to neglect God and our faith because we think, wala pa naman. Marami pa akong nais makamit at maabot sa buhay. Oftentimes, we erase the reality of death by filling ourselves with material and temporal pleasures. But the gospel today, my dear brothers and sisters, reminds us again and again that surely our end will come. And it will meet us in the end. May katapusan ng lahat. I was reminded by a catechist when I was little, no? Imagine how morbid it is. Sinabi niya sa akin, you have your palm with you? Yes, no? Anong makikita mong le- letter dyan? M. Remember this, M. Two M's. No? Memento mori. Alalahanin mong mamamatay ka rin. Our gospel today reminds us that reality will surely happen. Nakakatakot ho, ano? Parang hindi naman, Father, good news yan eh. Akala ba natin, Father, ang ibanghelyo ay good news? No? Pero parang hindi naman. Kamatayan? No? It may seem that our gospel in these past days, no, as we end our liturgical calendar, speaks of destruction and death. However, it is still actually a good news because it will orient us and prepare us for what will happen in the future. It will make us aware. Hindi ba? Too much inclination in the world often brings us to sin and disorientation. This mindset carries its own inherent destructive tendency. Kaya nga ho, unless we discover and align ourselves purposefully to the designs of the Creator, hindi natin ito magagawa. Unless we safeguard ourselves towards having a strong faith in God against our destructive tendency to be self-absorbed, eternal damnation awaits us. Kapag dalihis tayo na magbigay ng kahulugan sa ating buhay bilang mga Kristiyano at mga anak ng Diyos, hindi malayong mangyari ito sa atin. Self-destruction. So how are we to check? Check your choices. Check your response. Because as you observe it, there you can check what your priorities in life are. Sa pangapingipili natin, nandun makikita ang ating prioridad at ang mga nakakabit na mga value system na pinapahalagahan natin sa ating buhay. Let us remember that the world is passing and so we may be able to prioritize our relationship with God. And so in this Mass, my dear brothers and sisters, let us be reminded to consider God and to consider our own death. Let us consider our actions and our choices, for from them, we can check what are our priorities in life. Pera ba ito? Pamilya ba ito? Reputasyon ba ito? Pangarap ba ito? Pakikipag-ugnayan ba ito sa kapwa-tao ko? kaibigan ko at sa Diyos. When the end and destruction comes, may we say that we have no regrets at all because all we have been doing is what Jesus has been instructing us to do. To love Him and to love our 
neighbor as we love ourselves. Sin in the values that we carry in our everyday decisions and in everyday life. Amen. Please stand. As we gather to celebrate the mystery of our salvation, let us turn to God the Father with confidence and implore His mercy. In every intention we say, Faithful Lord, bless us. Faithful Lord, bless us, that the people of God may be drawn to prayer and penance as they hope for the coming of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Faithful Lord, bless us, that those who govern human society may see the hands of God moving in the events of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Faithful Lord, bless us, that we may look to the future with hope and confidence. Let us pray to the Lord. Faithful Lord, bless us, that the sick may live in security and hope through the prayers and support of their family and friends, let us pray to the Lord. Faithful Lord, bless us, that the Son of Man may grant salvation to those who have died, let us pray to the Lord. Faithful Lord, bless us. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your people and help us to embrace the daily challenge of the cross. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings, which at your bidding we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, Grant us unfailing obedience to your commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our truth and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, he who comes in, the in the name of the Lord, the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and the glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, but only say the word, and, the word, and my soul, and my soul shall, be shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may my God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.